Hello, I'm Bjorn Kolbeck. I'm one of the authors of this book, High Quality Horn and Speaker Systems, History, Theory and Design, together with Thomas Donker. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the background of this book project and the contents of the book. So it started back in uh, 2003 when I met Thomas and we were discussing uh, the design of new mid-range horns for our systems. And we thought it would be a good idea to review some of the, of the theory before we started. So we began to collect everything we could come across of papers, books, articles, patents, and so on. And uh, after a few years, we had collected several hundred references, and it became clear that even references like Olson's Elements of Acoustical Engineering had only a chapter or two about horn loudspeakers, and there was a lot of information and useful things hidden away in uh, papers, some of them really hard to find. And we thought that one way to organize this material, both for our own use and also to make it more useful for others, was to write a book about horn loudspeakers. And having decided that, we started to collect more information. We started to build test equipment, including turntable for directivity measurement, uh, plane wave tube, um, equipment for measuring throat impedance and so on. And we also started to write simulation software in order to uh, learn more about the mathematics of horns. And after a few years, I decided to start studying again. And uh, I moved to Trondheim to do a MSc and a PhD in acoustics, both on horn simulation, trying to fill some of the gaps in the knowledge about horns. The PhD project also made it possible for us to do a field trip to the AT&T archives in New Jersey to uh, study some of the work done by the engineers at the Bell Labs in the 1920s and 30s, uh, the pioneering work on horn loudspeakers that were done back then. Now all of this is collected in uh, this book and um, let's have a look at the contents. The book starts out with about 400 pages of um, the history of horns and horn loudspeakers from the 17th century up to modern times. It has a lot of pictures, including quite many from the AT&T archives. This uh, historical section is then followed by a section on theory, about 400 pages as well. It has uh, about 100 pages on horn theory, has uh, uh, information about directivity, directivity control, compression drivers, and so on. It also has a section about simulation of horns using various methods. After this section comes a more design-oriented part um, that gives details about how to so, lay out various types of horns, uh, curving of horns, some crossover design, and also measurements. I found this book to be very useful in my daily work. I work for Celestian, uh, where I design horns and work with loudspeakers every day. I find it very useful to have a, a single reference on my desk that contains almost everything I, I need to look up, instead of having lots of other books and a uh, pile of papers. So I hope you will find it useful as well.